Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial, I am going to show you how to change the resolution of your game in the Unity game engine. To start off, I have a very simple pop-up built using the Cartoon GUI pack, which I have linked in the description of the video. The pop-up just has a close button and a title at the top. To change the resolution, we need two UI elements. The first one is going to be a drop-down from which the user can select the resolution. And the second one is going to be a toggle button using which the user can change the full screen mode of the game. For this drop down, add a label on the left side. Change the font and the position of the label as required. Next, we are going to add the drop down in front of this label. Change the position and the size of the drop down as required. I am also going to quickly adjust the visuals of the drop down to match my user interface. And we have our drop down ready, inside of which we are going to display all of the resolution options available. The user can then click on any of these options to change the resolution of the game. We are going to add all of these options manually through our code. So for now, we just want to delete all of the options available in the drop down. Next, let's create the toggle for changing the full screen mode of the game. Adjust the size, position, and the visuals of the toggle as required for your user interface. And also, we want to add a text label on the left side. Now, let's start adding the code for changing the resolution. On your pop-up, create a new script which we will call the settings menu manager. Open up this new script. In the script, start by importing the Unity UI library and the text mesh pro library. Next, create the reference variables for the dropdown and the toggle. And after this, we need an array of resolutions in which we are going to store all of the available resolutions. Also, we need a boolean inside of which we are going to store the full screen value. We will also need an integer variable to save the value of the resolution selected by the user. Now, in our start function, the first thing we want to do is set the full screen boolean to true. After that, we can get all the available screen resolutions in our resolution array using screen.resolutions. Next, we want to add all of these resolution options to our dropdown. For this, we first need to convert our array of resolutions into a list of strings. And now, we can just add this list of strings to the resolution dropdown. Let's go back to Unity and test our code so far. Assign the reference of the dropdown and the toggle to the script and run the project. And there we go, all the available screen resolutions are now present in our drop down. However, we can also see refresh rates next to our resolutions. This creates two problems. First, we might want to change our refresh rate from somewhere else in the user interface. And second, if the screen has multiple refresh rates, each resolution will have multiple options, one for each refresh rate, which will make the resolutions list too large. To fix this, let's go back to our code and create a new list of resolutions, which we will call selected resolutions list. Now let's extract the width and height of each resolution in a new string. After that, we are going to check if the resolution string list already has this new resolution. If it does not, we are going to add this new resolution to the resolution string list and we are also going to add it to the selected resolution list. This resolution string list is now going to be passed to our dropdown, which is then going to display all the resolutions without the refresh rates. Let's test our code. And as we can see, we now have all the available resolutions without the refresh rates. Next, let's add the code for changing the resolutions and the full screen mode. For changing the resolution, create a new function which will be called when the drop down value is changed. In the function, we are going to set the selected resolution variable to the new value of the resolution drop down. After that, we are going to call the screen.setResolution function in which we are going to pass the width and the height of the current resolution and also we are going to pass the full screen boolean. Next, we will create the function for changing the full screen mode. 
this function will be called when the value of our toggle is changed. And in this function, we are going to set our is full screen boolean to the current value of the toggle. And after that, we are just going to call the screen.setResolution function, which we also called insertChangeResolution function. And that's it for the code. Go back to Unity, select our resolution dropdown, and in the on value changed of the dropdown, assign the change resolution function we just created. Similarly, in the on value change of the toggle, assign the change full screen function we created. And that's it, we are all done. If we try running the project in the editor and try changing our resolution, nothing will happen. To test the code, we will need to build our project and then change the resolution in the build. Let's run the build. And here we can see that the resolution changes just as we want it to. And we can also change the full screen mode using our toggle. That's it for the tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.